If I couldn't get out on the bike, honestly, man, I don't know what I'd do. To see how this uh, cush call works, and you definitely can feel it. Yeah! Be warned, this is not a trail for the faint hearted. Right, here's the cliff. Where is it? Nice and steady. How's it going subscribers and non-subscribers who are hopefully about to be subscribers? Uh, I'm doing a vlog a little bit different today. Todd is at home, he's feeling tired, he's been doing a fair bit of riding so he sat this one out. Uh, I've come out to near Eastridge today, well I'm actually in Eastridge but I'm not going to be riding in Eastridge and I've got a couple of things I'm going to try out today. One is I have switched the Cush Core from when I fitted them to the Envies on the full bounce, which you will see here if you want to know all about them. And I've put them onto these wheels on the hardtail. So we've got the stands, I think the flow rims, tough fast rolling rear, and high grip, ah, light high grip front. Um, so I fitted them, they're so much more easy to fit on this bike. And I wanted to try them because obviously it's, these are all about the damping. And so I think the damping quality will be even more necessary on a hard tail. So I'll get it on some rough stuff. I'm going to go up over the tops, stipe stones that way, ride some rough stuff, see what it's like. And also something else I'm trying out today. I don't know why I haven't tried it before. If you look here, I've got the vlogging uh, GoPro case on here. So this has the actual microphone adapter that goes into the side. You can only do this if it's not raining because you've got to open the side of the GoPro up. And then you've got the wire. Yes, it comes with way too much wire. And then uh, a fluffy microphone under my mouth. See how it goes. A lot of vloggers use this sort of setup. Uh, I haven't tried it yet, so let me know what you think about that as well. Obviously, the normal GoPro, which I'm talking to. Right, so I'm going to get out there and give you my thoughts on this and just have a chat and just tell you my thoughts on various things that are going on at the moment. All right, I hope you enjoy it. So I've actually pulled off the main fire road up and I've never been in this bit. I've seen it loads of times. There's no trails here. It's just like a really nice bit of Easter Ridge. I thought, nice backdrop for the beginning. So I made it up most of the way of the climb, uh, the main Easter Ridge climb, which sort of goes off to the right there but I'm heading that away that there is a stipe of stones so I still got a big ass climb it's very warm today 25 26 degrees I'm feeling it with all this stuff strapped to me you see the knee pads are down well I do a lot now when I'm climbing up hills um, just gotta get up there just gotta grin and bear the heat and winch her up Everywhere is so dry, so rock hard. It's lovely though how it rolls so nicely. How's that audio anyway? I don't know. <laughs> I won't know till I'm editing. If I'm happy with it, I'll put a big thumbs up now. <clears throat> Sometimes it's so nice to just come out for a ride on your own. And kind of clear your head of all the madness especially it's going on at the moment bit of your own company i know some of you had to do that that's all you can do at the moment and i do feel sorry for you i'm very lucky in that aspect lucky to be able to ride with todd all the time it starteth the big climb I got up the toughest bit of the climb and as we just get into this little coppice of pine trees with the shade, it was so nice. Honestly, I'm so hot. I'll try and show you, you might not see it, but hang on. Yeah, full on, sweating me nuts off. But when you come to places like this and you think this is 15 minute drive, 15, sorry, minute drive from my house, we're so lucky, we're so blessed because you know, for any of you subscribers who are like locked down or whatever and you're in cities or really busy towns and you've got nothing on your doorstep, I feel so sorry for you. This is like uh, 
mental health, um, just big gains being able to do this. If I couldn't get out on the bike, honestly, man, I don't know what I'd do. Let's carry on, shall we? Here we have one of my favorite view spots is when we're going up this sort of climb towards the Stiper Stones. And, you know, just looking at Shropshire and I don't know, Wales is over there somewhere. My geography's not good. And you can just see for miles and miles. That's where we've just come from. We, me. We as in me and you lot watching. <laughs> and uh, the bike today, we've got the Switch Niner hardtail over a year old now sticking with the flat pedals got the laconda guys on there how sexy do they look and uh, the only sign of having this cush core on both the wheels is we've got the cush core valves because they've got the side inlet for the air rather than uh, direct and then i've got the ty valve cap on it because you can take the valve cores out with that um so far, I mean, all I've done really is climbing and you can notice it. I'm really surprised. I didn't think you would. You can notice a little bit of damping as you're going up over the little sort of the rocks and the little stones. It does offer, it's like going back to the 90s and when you get these like one and a half inch travel XC forks with elastomers and there's, a, you know, you put the soft ones in, you can feel it. So uh, yeah, pretty excited to try it on the downhill. So the first downhill I'm going to do is one that I have shown you ages ago and it's called the Flying Scotsman. Made it to the top. There was still a bit more of a climb and ahead of us there, that is the Devil's Chair. I think it's Devil's Chair, something like that. Um, I have done edits from going up over that, but uh, I'm not doing that. We're going off down right. Here we go. This is a Flying Scotsman and it's got plenty of rocks on it at the top, which is good. What I want to see how this uh, cush core works. And you definitely can feel it for sure. I'm not going at it hell for lever, obviously. Just a nice, comfortable speed. It's super rough. It definitely makes a difference I think it's really actually a worthy all right little fella a worthy thing to have on a hardtail I can feel this uh, really feel this blogging case moving about on my chest because it's heavier so I hope that's not ruining your view and also hope nobody has put any crap on these trails have you noticed that all over the social media at the moment idiots who probably don't go out to countryside that often who decided they don't like mountain bike riders and they've started oh, putting crap all over the trails to try and make people crash and hurt people and really all they're doing is causing more injuries so that kind of doesn't make much sense oh yeah this has got really rough look where he's going then um yeah and as a social media itself with all that's going on kind of changed a lot for me kind of realized there's a lot of idiots out there who take it upon themselves to be the world's Corona policeman I find it really annoying you shouldn't be doing this you shouldn't be doing that just let people do what they want to do I know there are some dicks who are doing some daft stuff but I think just worry about what you're doing forget about other people oh big drifty corner nice I'm nowhere near the speed I would do this normally god that's got rough oh so yeah Super impressed with the Cush Core. It isn't cheap, so it wants to be good, really. Yeah. If you are emptying your dog on this path, please pick up the poo. <laughs> emptying your dog. No, 
now we have another big ass road climb and then fire road to get back up to the top and it's a big chunky climb oh i made it back up to the stiper stones that was a hell of a climb that's up there above us still a bit of a climb ruins me climbing on the hot days like this so i was super impressed by the Cush cause damping qualities on that downhill and uh, now I'm back right up the top and this like really rough flat trail that is horrible on a hard tail normally and I can't believe how much it damps all the nasty little vibrations out incredible look at that it's beautiful you know, I keep thinking about and toying with the idea of e-bikes. Uh, definitely want one, but when I get to the top of a massive climb, although I hate doing the climb, you feel like you've really earned your view, and then you're downhill. Heading over there. There's the ridge. Yeah. There's the turn. See it somewhere. There it is. Excuse me ladies, coming through. It's remarkably still and quiet and peaceful out here. Really appreciating it. It's so nice. Now you get to this bit here, you just come along and that is, uh, I don't know the name of it, I call it like the horseshoe because it's like a horseshoe it goes round like that it's very off camber i saw a mint picture that uh john from fundamental mtb put up from there and i'll put that up now the ridge line itself is up over there and that's where we're heading now we've got a little bit of a down before we go up to get to the top i remember now it's ages since i've done this you get some right good pace down here as well You've got to try and keep your pace so that it's not as much effort to get up to the top and get on the pedals. And first gear. Right then folks, here we go. Be warned, this is not a trail for the faint-hearted. It's steep and you've got a huge drop off to the left here. I'll be going nice and steady on it. Especially as I'm on with Jack Jones and I'm on the wrong bit. There we go. Uh, any day, Jemby fans, you'd have seen he did this, I think last year. And when you get to like the cliff bit, I think him and his mates all walked it. And a local, uh, a local girl come down <laughs> and just rode it. I think did him and his mates heads in. So as I'm sure a lot of you are aware, GoPro's flatten things out. This right now is seriously steep, but all I do as I go, just keep it at an all right pace. I'm gonna get in the rut. Quite often I ride out the rut because you've got more grip on the green, but I'm just gonna go nice and steady. And if you go steady on this stuff, then if things go tits up, you can just fall off to the side, you know, one way or the other. It's when you start trying to go fast or oh, you've got like drops like this where you can get in trouble if you're if you're hauling, you know what I mean? So as long as you keep the pace down a bit and just play it sort of pretty sensible there you go. and just nice and relaxed no over braking further in the back brake see, I speeded up a little bit there didn't want to do that but it's all right all in control and you see i'm quite close to the edge there i might get some grief for this i don't know there are people out there like i said before judging saying you shouldn't do this you shouldn't do that you know what i'd rather be doing this where i'm in control than going around a freaking supermarket 
where I don't know who's touched what, who's with me, who's behind me, who's talking to me, do you know what I mean? We, right, is the cliff. Where is it? Nice and steady. Uh, just got it. Got it. Lovely. And at the end of the day, I know folk who work at the hospital right now in Shropshire. Our hospitals are like super dead right now. The quietest and the cleanest they've ever been. So it is, you know, it's a risk, but an educated risk. Yeah. And there we are at the bottom. Nice. That was so much fun. Brilliant. A couple of years since I've done that. And now I'm going to go right and I'm going to head over to uh, Snail Beach Village Hall. And you can climb up back into Eastridge from there. Oh, so we're in Eastridge now, but I'm not going to bore you with the same trails that I normally always do. I'm going to go and try and find a couple heading back towards the van that we don't normally do, that I haven't done for maybe years, just to keep things fresh. So ahead of me is the one I normally do, and there's a couple off that way. But down here, we've got the old red, we've got the new one that the walkers have been putting stuff on and now the forestry have closed. But there's a couple of other wild ones here that I haven't ridden for ages, so I'm gonna get on the case of doing them. Such a shame. Oh well, let's do another one. Ryan! Been a while since I've done this one. God, not many people have ridden this. Yeah, still nice. Still so much fun. <laughs> Wee! Have you ever shot that? Some of these turns I remember now, they're super hard. But really rewarding when you get them right. Whoa! Glad I had flat pedals on then. I actually thought this was a steep one. That's the enduro turn, yep. Oh, hey, bouncy, bouncy. Yeah, fantastic. Ah. I'm done, I'm knackered, I was going to do another one go up the top, but I can't be bothered, I'm pretty tired. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, definitely the Kush Core are a real plus in this bike, they'll be remaining in here, and yeah, awesome, I can't believe the difference they made, and let me know what you think about them, about the price of them, about this audio, and also, um, you know, any of my thoughts on the current situation, can disagree with me I don't mind just my thoughts you know if I got really in depth with it I'd probably drive you crackers but because the whole thing drives me crackers we are gradually coming out of it and things are getting better you know we can drive we can ride with a mate we just need it to go back to riding with friends and driving miles and racing group rides festivals all that sort of stuff Thanks for watching. Check out links in the description for any of our merchandise, our website, um, and also the affiliates where you can buy some of the products we use at a discounted rate. See you next time. Keep it pinned.
and I've got the WTB tyres, a 2.6 fast, was it fast rolling? Um, was it high grip, fast rolling front, and a 2.4 tough, tough fast rolling rear uh, trail boss. The front is tough fast rolling, tough fast rolling rear, and high grip. <laughs> 